A U.S. company claims the light this machine makes is equal to 10,000 suns in a coffee cup. And it generates electricity, but some scientists say not so fast. Is this a clean energy breakthrough for the new year? Well, we'll show you next. A U.S. company says it's developed a revolutionary new power source, uh, that one that could wean the world off fossil fuels and provide an endless supply of safe, clean, cheap energy. Take a look. Depending on who you ask, this is either a monumental clean power breakthrough or it is all flash and no substance. Randall Mills, a Harvard-trained doctor who also studied at MIT, says he and his team of scientists have done something remarkable, inventing a small machine that can create light so brilliant it is equal to 10,000 suns in the volume of a coffee cup. That's one million watts of power. It's incredibly compelling. Just from an inspection, you can tell it's making enormous amount of power. This process is the result of two decades of research in atomic theory and the search for a new source of power. CNN first featured Mills in 2008 when the company was called Black Light Power and claiming it could make cheap power from water in a chemical reaction that alters hydrogen atoms. But his fuel cell never made it to market. Recently, the company developed a more powerful device. That single flash of light has now been captured in this sun cell, which the company claims can keep a coffee cup-sized version of the sun burning continuously. Photovoltaic cells encased in this dome then convert that light into cheap, pollution-free electricity. It's extremely compact, extremely lightweight, and uh, the fuel can be pulled from the atmosphere. This can replace nuclear power. It can replace every form of power, coal, oil, gas, uh, solar, wind, bio, geothermal. Uh, it can replace the utility grid. How it works is the tricky part. The sun cell converts hydrogen atoms from water molecules into a lower energy form, which Mills has dubbed the hydrino. The atom has an electron that uh, travels around the proton. From that solution, there is a, uh, the mechanism that came out of the, the, uh, the physics where you can make the electron go closer to the proton and release vast amounts of energy. That new state of matter is, uh, from all our spectroscopy measurements and analytical tests we've done over the years, has uh, shown that it's the identity of dark matter, which makes up most of the mass of the universe. Yes, he yeah, said dark matter, but mainstream science says that hydrino state doesn't exist. So Over the years, metal. his theory has been called and nonsense, like, well, even a hoax. The already stakes already are high. So if Mills is right, quantum mechanics is wrong. I applied the physical laws that are the foundations of our modern society to solving the structure of the electron based on my work at MIT on free electron laser uh, solutions. And it predicted the hydrogen atom could have a more stable physical form, and that matches the uh, spectral characteristic signature of dark matter. Despite his detractors, Mills has tens of millions of dollars in private investment and some 50 scientific validators, some compensated, others not, like engineer Ulrich Schwab. He told CNN, from what I've seen, there's something very novel going on here. The data I've seen has always seemed to point at that being the case. Mills also has contracts with companies in South Korea and in Mexico. I'm skeptical, as just a, as a layman. I don't believe that electrons can be in two places at the same time. I'm not a physicist. The way I see it is starting from uh, my skepticism, I did my due diligence, and over time, I became convinced. 2017 will be significant. Brilliant Light Power will field test different versions of the sun cell with plans to go to market in 2018. If Mills is right, cell. the sun and cell could become a revolutionary global power source and perhaps we help solve climate change. That's quite a discovery wow. if indeed it happens. And get, <laughs> get this, Pedro, not only can one sun cell this big be powered off the grid, thousands of homes and businesses, but they have ambitious plans to put them in airplanes, wow. on military ships, and in cars. So. That's incredible. Yeah, we, we'll were, we were geeking out over this story. This is absolutely, <laughs> and the, the sheer size of this as well, because right. you think about other forms of alternative fuel, they're still large in nature, whether it be a windmill yeah. or, or a, a panel. A solar farm, but, yeah. you know, and it's, this, this is this is absolutely big, so incredible. We'll wait to see <laughs> if this will be a pivotal year, but yeah. 